Welcome to my DVD Ultraviolet The Art of Dressing Big Hair. This DVD has been put together just to inspire you with different ideas about how to dress big hair using back combing and hair placement to create these beautiful looks. I always work step by step. I always try and keep it as simple as possible so that you're able to replicate these looks. Of course, you can put your own creativity to them to individualize these for your clients. For more information on books, DVDs, hair pads, butterfly clips, all the accessories that you need for dressing beautiful long hair, please hook into our website www.patrick-cameron.com. We're going to create now one of the most classic hairstyles of all time. This is called the French pleat. Now many hairdressers struggle with this hairstyle, often with the balance, the finish, getting the back nice and tight, and the proportions of the hairstyle. I'm about to show you the most amazing technique that I think you're going to love. First of all, of course, we started off with our classic hot roller set. Having taken the rollers out, let's just give the hair a good brush through. This just loosens up the set and makes it a little bit easier to work with. Now starting on the top, we're going to take a large rectangular section. We're going to go from temple to temple and then directly across the crown like so. Take the whole front area now and brush this forward. Taking the front area, we're just going to wrap this around our finger and just place this into a large stand up barrel curl. We're going to use this section later on. As you can see now, the ponytail is perfectly in the middle of the head. It's important to have roughly a two centimeter gap between the back parting and the ponytail. Now we're going to take a Patrick Cameron hairnet. Taking our hairnet, we're going to place this onto the back ponytail. Simply open up the hairnet and take one hair grip and we're going to take one hair grip through the elastic of the hairnet and place this one hair grip into the ponytail. Here we go, going around the ponytail, take our one hair grip, now attach it underneath, taking both sides of the elastic and push the hair grip in and under. Having got that now, let's just get the hairnet out of the way. Now we're going to start it at the back area and we're going to back comb the ponytail until it's nice and full. This technique is just about fluffing the hair up. We need the back area to be nice and full. I'm doing this roughly in about three sections. Look at this. Literally by pulling the hair around and folding the hair up, we get this beautiful pleat at the back of the head. Now taking a Patrick Cameron section clip, we're going to hold that there so we can check to make sure we have a great shape. Now coming up onto the top area, we're going to create our finish. Please remember there are many, many different ways to finish this top section. Some clients may like a smaller hairstyle, so you might want to pull this back flatter. Others may want a fringe or a soft wrap at the front. I'm going to take the top area and I'm going to back comb this and we're going to create a beautiful Vogue finish on the hairstyle. Now as I back comb, I'm only going to back comb roughly around about two to three centimeters up from the base. You don't need to back comb all the way to the very, very ends of the hair because the ends of the hair, you want to smooth those back. So it's advisable that you don't have back combing in those sections. Having got all that there now, we're just going to start to pull the hair back. Spray lightly. Be careful not to overspray because when you're working on a hairstyle like this, it's important that you can still mold the hair to how you want it. If you overspray the hair, obviously it ends up being very complicated to be able to smooth the hair out. Now I'm going for quite a rough finish because we want to keep this French pleat young. We don't want to make it a real sort of classic old fashioned look. So I'm leaving the hair quite rough, just using my brush to pull the hair around. I've left the top area so that you can sort of see it's sort of not perfectly finished. And that's a great idea for a young look. 
Once again, to pin this area, we pin down to hold the hair grip in place. As you can see there now, we've got a very loose front with quite a casual top back into a beautiful pleat. I think this hairstyle is going to become a real classic for you to do.